Hello, and welcome to my Weekly Wacky Wednesday video. As always, to start this week's video is my Weekly Wacky Wednesday video, Weekly Wacky Wednesday Word of the Week. This week's random word is going to be... Pick one? That one? I disagree. King, as in king, as in I'm the king of the castle, I'm the king of the castle. Because I'm the king of the castle. So now for this week's Weekly Wacky Wednesday video, we can review in 10 seconds or less. I learned this week that not only are there aliens out there, but they already hate the entire world. Thanks to my bro Stephen Hawking. Also, this week, today actually, Ken Salazar, the uh, United States Secretary of the Interior, said that he supports the uh, Cape Wind Project. So I'm going to show you how to make your own little wind turbine out of things that you can find around the house. First of all, most importantly, what you need is a stone to put on your nearby table so that it's not the only... so that shells are not the only thing covering your table. Then, what you do is you get a dowel. Any sort of dowel. I just happen to have this dowel sitting. Then, you get a donut. You take a bite or two out of it. Because this is really hard work what I'm about to do. So I need to sugar up. All right, you put that down. Now for the actual turbine, what you can use if you have this thing around is your install disk one for Macintosh system 7.5 floppy disk. If you have that sitting around. This is pretty important though, so I'm not gonna use it. Instead, I'm just gonna use this ABBA CD because they only had one good song. So now that you have the CD and the dowel, you take a cup, Put the CD on it, like that. Get the uh, World Life Saver here, duct tape. Find the end of it. Should have planned this one better. You get a little piece of duct tape. And you attach the CD to the cup. You can do this however you want. Neatness does not count. This is a do-it-yourself project. So now, you have it entirely nicely secured and wrapped. So you punch a hole with a nearby pencil that you'll never use again. So pick a regular yellow number two. Punch it right through the middle. There you go. That way it gives something to uh, spin. And this isn't holding very well so I'm going to put some more duct tape on it. Ugh. You can use uh, scissors for your duct tape but that's only for the uh, less cool people. So now this is a very nice thing, you know, turbine looking thing. So you take this, you take your dowel, of course, you get more duct tape. You can never have too much duct tape on your project. Alright, that looks like a good size piece. Ugh. Now you take this, and you take your wind turbine, and you kind of tape it together. You want to make sure it's nice and secure because there will be hurricane um, force winds on this, or at least my plan is. So now that it's nice and covered in duct tape, there we go, it's securely not going anywhere. Alright, so now you basically have the finished product. You may need a little bit more duct tape to make sure that it's completely secure. I'm just going to put one little more piece on. Alright. So now, as you can see here, I have the fin finished product, and it, whoop, there you go. It works perfectly. And most importantly, in the uh, sacred rite of passage for a wind turbine to be completed and to be ready to serve its country, what you need to do is you need to go out to your local backyard and get, get a snake skin. You put the snake skin and stick it on top of the wind turbine, and it's completed. Well, that's it. Your own wind turbine. I need to go untape my hand from this wind turbine. So, that's all for this week, and see you next week, guys. Mm, donut. <laughs>